Hi everyone, it's Emily Francis here with Oh My Malta, and today we are in Popeye Village. We are gonna talk about artichokes with Marian Cini. He is the grower of two kinds of artichokes on the island. I call these artichoke hearts, but in Maltese we call them uh, ouch. And then you also, he grows Jerusalem artichokes. So we're gonna talk about both. Let's start really basic. He has over 2,000 plants over and around of the artichokes. When do you plant them? We start planting them at uh, the end of August, beginning of September. Uh, depends on uh, which type of plants we have and which, there are many different types of aoch uh, that we and you that plant, we plant. And you plant by hand. Yeah, some With of this them. One, mm -hmm. machine. This one we plant them by machine and the other one we plant the roads by hand. Now, you said there's not actually a ripe. They're all ripe. So even if they're smaller, yes. it's not that you're waiting. It's more for business reasons yes. that you wait till they're larger. Like if you're going to stuff them, uh, you need a bigger a big, bigger than uh, this. Bigger or like that one. Okay. Let's say like that one. <coughs> if, if you're going to make hearts, you can make both of them, small or big. You made mention, I said that there was a snail inside the leaf, and you said that that's the one you want to buy when you go to the market. So tell me about that. Uh, that one is like in uh, every crop. When you see a, a snail, we call it babushu, uh, on cauliflower or uh, on the uh, artichokes, that's a marker that's uh, if, if there is pesticide, traces of pesticides on it, uh, it will not go uh, eating from it. That is so cool. So you sell these artichokes at the fresh market in Ta'ali. The market. Uh, oh, the oh. farmer's market. Okay, so tell me about that. So the people know when to buy and what it looks like. What time do you go? The, the market's open on uh, Tuesday and on uh, Saturday. And uh, it's open from 6.30 till 4 p.m. And you go at 4 o'clock in the morning with the fresh artichokes that you just cut. Or, or earlier in the morning to prepare, make, make tent and everything. Uh, just when, uh, so when people come, uh, they find us ready and they can choose whatever they like to buy. You also mentioned, though, uh, two things about the artichoke that I think is really important when you're shopping, when you're a, when you're a consumer. You talked about that you want to look at the stem. Uh, from here, it's you, you see it's fresh, it's not old. Mm -hmm. and it's firm mm -hmm. and even it's, it's still firm, this type. You can feel like the spikes. Yes, the spikes. It's still firm. You, you will see that even the leaves. The leaves are still firm. And that's what you want to look for as your marker. Yes, when yes. When you're shopping for artichokes. But uh, Malta, luckily, we have uh, the farmer's market and even the other market that uh, we go early in the morning, put our stuff there, and they sell it in less than 24 hours. So uh, if you buy local, make sure it's local, you 100% buying a fresh product. At the farmers. That's important that, that we shop local and that we support our local farmer. It's important for, for all Malta. So can you show us the final, so from this looking here in the big fields of artichokes, will you show us what this looks like? This is what you'll see at the farmer's market. Yes. Uh, I don't think they can see. I think we have to pick it up, but that's what it, they cut it and they look and they all have the nice sharp tops. The color is beautiful. Although you say the color isn't a marker necessarily. Sorry? The color is not necessarily a no, marker. No, we have different different types. We have this one is red. We have another one that's a bit a bit like uh, light dark. Okay. Like uh, green, a bit green. This depends on the type. Huh? Marian, tell me a little bit about your background. Have you been growing artichokes and other produce all your life? Is this a family business? Yes, yes. It's a family business. Uh, my, my grandfather worked here. My father. Here on the same? Yes, here. on the same area. And uh, me and my brother, we continue working here. Wow. When and we finish school, and, and we're always here. Uh, we, Day and night we're here, 
watering and uh, okay. planting. I don't see, I saw a lot of hoses. What, what do you do to water these daily? It depends on the weather. Uh, okay. Depends on the weather. Oh, because we're in the rainy season. Yes, yes. But this artichokes need a lot of water. Huh? Okay. Needs a lot of do water. Do you so have hoses that go through as well? Yes, we have the irrigation, so we don't use too much water, just the necessary. And you all, at least I've heard this before, collect the rain throughout the year to use? Yes, yes. We collect the rain uh, when it's raining, and we have even reverse osmosis. So wow. we, uh, we, we, we water with uh, very good water. Huh? Shall we talk about Jerusalem artichokes now? Okay, what is, I just heard about Jerusalem artichokes, as a matter of fact, yesterday for the first time, because I was talking to a chef, and they said that the Jerusalem artichokes are harder to find. Is that true? At the moment, uh, you can find it locally, you? locally. Is there from a lot of farmers? farmers? Yes, not, not a lot, but uh, I think now uh, in this month, let's say these three months, you can find it. If a shop want to buy from uh, from a market, from Taali market or farmers market, they can easily find it. What is so for the untrained eye? What is the difference between an artichoke heart like this and a Jerusalem artichoke? Artichokes like this one uh, grows like you're seeing. It's a, it's a flower. It's a flower. Okay. It's a flower. Yes, if you leave it, it comes a flower. A very beautiful flower. Wow. And the other one is a potato. The Jerusalem artichokes, it's a type of potato. It grows like potato under the soil. And totally different soil than this, right? Yes, uh, uh, the Jerusalem, the Jerusalem artichokes likes more uh, sandy soil. Sandy soil. And this you planted September 1st, end of August, September. When do you plant the Jerusalem artichokes? The Jerusalem artichokes, uh, we, saw, we saw them uh, in, uh, let's say, March, end of March, beginning of uh, April. And are they ripe and ready now, too? Yes. So you plant them very differently, but then they come together. You're selling them at the yes. same time? Yes, yes. Uh, the difference is that uh, the, the artichokes, like we're seeing here, you see them when they are ready. They come, if you leave it, it open a flower. So we have to harvest them. Okay. The Jerusalem artichokes, it gives you more time. So you, you pick it slowly, slowly. You harvest slowly, slowly. It depends on the market. Okay. You don't go at one go and you take everything to the market. So you'll just take the ones that are ready now, but there's several months then that you harvest? For this one, there are several months. Till June, we, we continue to harvest June. this one, yes. So December to June, yes. you can get artichoke hearts. Yes, but the Jerusalem artichokes, uh, that one uh, till, uh, till March. Until March. Until Wait, March. but you plant them in March? Yes. And then they're ripe now until March, and then you plant again? Yes. Wow. That's quite a process. So you, like when you're really dealing with Jerusalem artichokes especially, there's no time off. You're either planting or harvesting or checking and watering. Of course, uh, the, everything has its own, uh, its own uh, cycle. Yeah. But the, yeah, but the Jerusalem artichoke kind of has a, there's always, it's you're longer, never it's, on a vacation from the, Ah, the But it's not, it's not a very difficult, uh, let's say, you need to take care of water uh, and uh, maybe clean uh, weeds, okay. but they don't need, uh, for example, they don't need pesticides, they don't need, so uh, it's, I think it's healthier. And uh, it's different from other, maybe from other crops. Yeah. One more question about Jerusalem artichokes. Uh, their root, their root vegetable. What do you use them? You, do you use them like a potato, or what do you use them for cooking? We use them a lot in Malta. They are um, famous. Eh? They yeah. use them like potatoes. They use them. They say that uh, because it looks like ginger to me. When you pulled it out from the dirt, it looks like ginger. For digestive, the digestive system. Uh, yes, yeah, important. We. You, you add uh, parsley with it, 
and it's very healthy. Yeah? Thank you so much, Mariancini. This has been Emily Francis with Oh My Malta.